Hey everybody, in this video I'll show you how to play Aneurysm by Nirvana off the Incesticide compilation. The song is in standard tuning, and if you have a quick second, please like and subscribe. It really helps my channel out a lot, and click the little bell for notifications. That way you're notified every time I post a new video. I post new stuff like this several times a week, and here we go. All right, so like a lot of Nirvana songs, this song kind of switches between quiet and loud parts with a clean tone and a distorted tone. Kurt Cobain uses that technique a lot, uh, the, the dynamics to make an impact when the, the powerful parts of the song come in. So we're gonna start off with a clean tone and play this rhythm. So it's mostly three note major chords or three note power chords, however you like to call them. And we're gonna start off with an F sharp. And we're gonna play that, a full chord. And then we're gonna to go to the C, and when we do the C, we're gonna play the notes within the chord, so it kinda of sounds like this. And it's um, re really loose, not, it's supposed to kinda of sound a little sloppy, it's uh, Kurt Cobain's kinda of technique. So we're gonna start with the F sharp, to the C, and then the B, we're gonna do the same thing, the notes within the chord. And then when we go to the A, we're just gonna play the chord. So, again, slowly. And then when we let off that A chord, we're just going to play all open notes. So, so again. And he just plays that part twice with the clean tone. And then the distorted tone kicks in. And he's going to play this kind of ascending notey pattern that starts off on the third fret of the G string. And it uses chorus as well. Um, but I'm not going to play it with chorus, I'm just going to play it with the distortion so you can kind of hear it a little better. And um, it's going to just progress up the fretboard. And he plays this part several times in the song, and uh, each time is a little different, but this, they're essentially the same. So I'm just going to show you kind of a, a version that's like the, the way he plays it the most times in the song. So we're going to start off on the third fret. <laughs> And the, when he plays on the third fret, that's going to be the longest uh, measure-wise that he plays, uh, stays on one note. And it, as he goes up the neck, it's going to kind of speed up. So I'll play the whole part through and then I'll break it down. So we're going to start on the third fret. Then we're gonna slide up to the fourth fret. Then to the fifth fret. Then to the sixth fret. And then when we hit the sixth fret, we're gonna start speeding up the transition. And then as we get up to the higher frets, it's real loose. Um, it's sliding up about a fret at a time, sometimes two. And then you're gonna start hitting kind of like the muted top strings, the B and E strings. So. And then it goes back into the beginning riff, except with distortion now. And this time when we play it, we're not gonna play the notes within the chords, we're just gonna play full chords, so. And in between the chord changes, we're gonna do that let off. play the open notes so then we go back into the notey lead part and then once we hit the high highest parts, we're going to click off the distortion, and we're going to go to the verse part, which uses a clean tone that then switches to a distortion. So we finish up the notey part, and then we play this B chord. So 
So we're gonna play a B um, major chord, and it's actually a power chord. And the way Kurt Cobain plays it in the song is he's gonna play with his index finger at the seventh fret of the low E, and then bridge his ring finger across the ninth fret. And when he starts off, he's gonna play just the bottom three strings, so it's kind of muted. And as it progresses, it gets louder and louder, and then he starts playing the um, higher strings. So you're gonna end up playing the ninth fret on the A, D, G, and a little bit of the B string by the time the, the verse is over. So it sounds like this. So it gets louder and louder as it builds up, and um, it can be very tricky to kind of bridge your finger all the way across those four um, strings. So if you can't do that, at least try to get the A, D, and G strings and you'll get that feel for how he's playing it on the record. So we're gonna do that muted part. And we're gonna kick our distortion on and play a D chord. Then distortion off. And you'll notice the first time it's, tw it's twice as long that he rides that um, B chord. So the first time it's. And the second time it's. Before it kicks to the D. So that's how the verse goes. And then we come to the chorus, which has this really cool riff that goes like this. So you'll notice that uh, I played it like three different ways because Kurt Cobain kind of plays it differently throughout the song. So the first version goes like this slowly. So we're gonna play these three note power chords. And then when we get to the A, we're going to switch to the D and then back to the A, so. And then the first version, you're gonna play the A twice when you get back to the A, and then you're gonna slide, and then start it over. So, slowly. So that's the first version, it has that slide in there. The second version goes like this. So basically it's the same, except you're gonna hit that A an extra time, that last A, and you're, then you're gonna let off and play open strings before you start the, the, the um, section over, so. And then the third way that he plays is just straight. And so you're gonna play that A four times instead of three times, so. So one more time, slowly. So that's all the parts for the song. So you're gonna go verse, chorus, then you're gonna go back to the verse and chorus, and then the outro is basically that first riff again. And so the last couple times of that outro, um, Kurt Cobain plays this kind of modified version of that, that beginning note he fill. So he goes. And then it starts over with the full fill. And so forth until the song ends. So again, that fill, it's, it's, again, it's pretty loose, but it starts off on that third fret of the G string and goes. And 
And then the song kind of ends with just like kind of falling apart with just some like notey uh, like noise up at the higher fret. So like. So that's it for this one. I hope you enjoy the lesson. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. It really helps my channel out a lot and click the little bell for notifications. That way you'll be notified every time I post a new video. I post new stuff like this several times a week and I'll see you guys next time.